keep smiling, keep shining, knowing you can always count on me. For sure, that's what friends are for. For good times and bad times, I'll be on your side forever. That's what friends are for. And gentlemen, if you want to be a rock star, you're going to want to be here in the next 90 seconds. It's happening. It's happening. Right here. rock star. That's right. I'm a real, real rock star. And my job consists of two things. Through Crash Rhythm and the Junk Line, which is what you just saw, I mean, they're performing on stage, playing at festivals and parades and stuff like that, or I train rock stars. So today, you're watching Crash Rhythm's virtual workshop. And that means that I'm going to train you and your family how to be rock stars. Super exciting, and we're going to have a lot of fun, and we're going to make a lot of noise. Let's do it! I am so excited to be doing this workshop for you. Sound of Music has such a special place in my heart. When I was a kid, I went to all of the parades. When I was a teenager, I was in the teen tour band, so I was in the parades. And for the past two years, Crash Rhythm has been a part of the parades, the festival, the street fest, and it's become such a huge part of who Crash is and who I am. So I'm so excited to be doing this with you. Today, we're gonna be looking at a few cool things. We're gonna learn how to be rock stars. So we're gonna learn how to play some bucket drums. We're gonna learn how to play together. We're gonna learn how to jam. We're gonna even write our very own song, all right? We have a lot of cool things planned, so stay tuned. I'm so excited to get started. Let's do this. So let me break this down for you on how it's gonna work, because I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Hillary, you're in the Crash Rhythm studio. And I'm at home in my living room. How are we going to do this? But fear not, because I have a plan. So if you're one of those people that just want to sit back, grab a blanket and maybe a bowl of popcorn, cuddle up with your family and just watch this video, you can totally do that. That's fine. That's awesome even. But if you want to participate and actually drum along with me, this is how we're going to do it. Every so often, I'm going to put a little pause sign right here in the corner, okay? When that pause sign goes up, I want you to pause the video because we're gonna be doing some sort of activity that might require you to take a little minute to do it, okay? So I might just have explained a task and you're gonna need some time. So pause the video right there in order to do that. Then the next thing that we're gonna need, we're gonna need three things. We're gonna need a pencil or a pen, something to write with. We're also gonna need paper, something to write on. And then the third thing we're gonna need is we're obviously gonna need something to, uh-oh, I don't, I don't have anything to drum on. Huh. All right, well, I might have to get a little creative here, okay? So let me go see if I can find some things in my house to drum on. I'll be right back. drum set just out of stuff that I found in my house. 
So let's go over all the different sounds I have here because the really cool thing about my bucket drum set is that every single sound that one of these buckets makes makes the sound of a drum in a real drum set. So I'm able to actually make real drum set beats when I put them all together. So let's, let's look at what we've got, right? So this tall one up here, this is called my cymbal, okay? Now when we say cymbal, we're going to say it like this to help remember. So say it along with me. Cymbal. Nice. <laughs> and we say it like that so that we remember that when we hit the cymbal, cymbal is a nice long sound, okay? Something that makes a nice crash sound. Crash, crash. Now these two out here, these two are brothers. Their names are Tom and Tom. They're the Tom Toms, just like that. And just like any brothers, they, they're a little different. They have some different sounds. So when we say Tom Tom, we're gonna say it like this. Tom Tom, just like that, now you try. Tom Tom, and that's how we know that they've got those two different sounds. This one, right here, right in between my legs, this one's the center of the drum set, but not just that, it's also the drum that can go the fastest, okay? So when we say snare drum, that's what this one is, we say it as fast as we can. Snare drum, snare drum. And we say it super fast because it's the drum that goes the fastest. And then the last drum that we have is this big one. This is the bass drum. So the bass drum is always gonna be the biggest drum in the drum set. And because it's so big, it's got a really low sound. So when we say bass drum, Make a big circle in front like this. This is my favorite one. Make a big mean face and you're gonna say it like this. Bass drum, bass drum, just like that, okay? So let's hear what they all sound like. So we have our cymbal, we have our tom-tom, we have our snare drum, and our bass drum, just like that. So now, I think I should play them all together so that you can hear what it sounds like, don't you think? All right, let's do it. Let's see. You tell me if you think it sounds like a real drum set. Here we go. <clears throat> goodness all right guys I think it's your turn to make one so get ready for your first activity okay I'm gonna put the pause symbol in the corner in just a minute but before I do that let's talk about what you can make so we are gonna need a bass sound right we're gonna need a nice low sound we're gonna need maybe a snare sound a higher sound that we're able to go a bit faster on we might need a cymbal sound that'll make it a nice big crash kind of finale sound and you can make up your own ideas you can find anything in your house so maybe you have some old coffee cans left over that might be a good snare or a good cymbal maybe you have some old yard waste buckets that might be a good thing for a bass drum maybe you have some things that rattle maybe you have some pots and pans that could be a good snare drum sound and if you don't have drumsticks like me you can always use the backs of some spoons right these are some kitchen spoons right those work too all right get ready so when I put that pause sign up you have to pause the video and go find some stuff to make your very own bucket drum set. On your marks, get set, go! Okay, now that we've got our bucket drum sets, there's one thing I want to go over quick. Obviously, we're going to be making a lot of noise, but also I want to teach you a lot of cool things while we're doing it. So what I'm going to do is when I put my sticks up on my head, just like this, these are my bunny ears. And when the bunny ears go up, it means that I'm going to have something important to say, okay? So this is my symbol to tell you to stop drumming. Perfect, all right? So let's remember that for the rest of the video. Now, before we get into any activity, I think we need to make some noise. Don't you think so? So now that we have our bucket drum set, let's try to see some of the different sounds we can make. So everybody, I hope you were able to find something that made a bass sound, something really, really low, okay? So let's all hear that right now. Everybody, play your bass drum. Oh, awesome, it was so low, that's incredible. Now, let's hear our snare sounds. Remember, that's our higher sound that we can go faster on. Let's hear that one. Incredible! 
Now, let's try that third sound that we found. So I have my cymbal and tom-toms, but you could have found anything that you had. So let's hear that sound now. Now there's one more sound that we can make. And if you have drumsticks at home, that's great. If you have spoons that you found to use, that's great. If you didn't find anything and you just have your hands, that's also great. So this is called the stick click. But also, it could be just a clap, right? So everybody do that now with your sticks, hands, spoons, anything you found in your house. Beautiful. Now remember, we, we can play many different ways on these drums. It doesn't always have to be fast and loud. Sometimes it can be slow and quiet. So let's all play right now. Let's hear what slow and quiet sounds like on the bass drum, okay? Okay. I wonder what fast and quiet sound like on the snare drum. Let's try that. Fast and quiet. Here we go. Well done. Let's take this time right now to invent a new way to play our drum set, okay? So everybody, pause the video now and experiment with the sounds that you've got on your drum set and create some new ones, okay? All right, pause. Awesome. I think we're ready. We're ready to get into these activities. So I'm so excited. Let's get to the first activity. Now what we're going to do is what is called a call and answer. Okay? So that's when I play something and you have to play the same thing back. Now the way that I do a call and answer is a little bit different. So not only am I going to play something and you play it back, but whatever I play, you have to play with me, okay? So it might start with some call and answer, and it might go into something a bit more cool than that. So let's just find out and see what happens. Now, it doesn't matter which one of your instruments you play on. If you don't even have toms, don't worry about it. If you only have four bass drums, that's a pretty cool setup, then just play those. Whatever you decide is totally cool. That's the beauty of bucket drumming, is we get to choose a lot of what we do. We get to make up a lot of stuff too, right? All right, so here we go. <clears throat> Sticks in the ready position. Deep breath. Here we go. Follow along with me. Nice and quiet, right? Let's hear how quiet we can play. Whoa. Okay, that's really good. Nice and quiet, nice and quiet. Let's see if we can go a little bit louder. All right, kids, in order to be a rock star, it's super important that we can count to four. You ready? Let's try it together. Here we go. One, two, here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yep. One, two, little bit harder. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Yep. And You ready? I think it's time for that call and answer part I was talking about. All right, here, let's try this out. You ready? I'm going to play it, then you're going to play it. Here we go. Here we go. Up. Your turn. Yeah. And again. All right, you ready for this? Ba -da -da -da. Boom. 
boom, click, boom, boom, click, yeah, boom, click, boom, boom, click, yeah, boom, click, boom, boom, click, being whoever else is in your living room maybe you set up some stuffed animals to watch the performance right that's a good idea i should have said that earlier <laughs> congratulations we just played our first song as a band can you believe that oh my gosh give yourselves a drum clap congratulations that was amazing i think it's time for another activity what do you think let's do it So I think we should do something just to kind of get loose, something to just have fun. So let's do a jam session, okay? So what a jam session is, is it's when a bunch of musicians come together and they make music together, even though they might not be playing the exact same thing. So you get to play whatever you want, but the whole goal is to try to make it sound like it works together, okay? So I want you to think about jamming like you're talking to someone. So if you and I were having a conversation and we just were yelling at each other the whole time, that wouldn't be a very good conversation, would it? You want something that sounds like we're speaking to one another and having that conversation. So less is sometimes more. If we were having an argument, it might sound like this. That's not as good as if we were having a nice conversation like this. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count us in and I'm going to do a little jam session on my buckets. I want you to play something along with me that you think fits in. And maybe you should listen to me for a little bit just to get the feeling of the jam before you jump in. Okay? All right, let's do this. And remember, it's just about having fun. There's no such thing as making mistakes. Just play along with me. Let's start simple and see if we can get a little bit harder. Now remember, nope, nope. All right, let's do this. Now remember, there's no such thing as mistakes. We're just gonna have some fun. Play along with me and use all the different sounds that we've already come up with. Let's start simple and then maybe it'll get a little bit harder. Here we go. Sticks in the ready position. Deep breath. That was so much fun. I think it's time for another activity. Before we get to the next activity, I have something pretty cool for you. The Junk Grind members got together and did a social distancing performance just for you. Presenting The Junk Line.
glasses Stop on. every time? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Okay, for this next activity, I think I'm going to need a little inspiration from the outdoors. So why don't you join me on a little walk outside just to see if we can experience some sounds of nature that might help us with the next activity. Okay, let's go. Right, that was great. I was able to hear a bunch of different sounds from outside in nature, and I think I have an idea for our next activity. I think we should create a soundscape. What's a soundscape, you might ask? Well, a soundscape is a way for us to kind of use music to recreate the sounds of something else, of another environment, okay? So one of the favorite ones that I like to make even though our walk today was kind of sunny, one of my favorite ones to make is a thunderstorm. So I think we should use all of the sounds of a thunderstorm to create a song. So I think we need to throw it over to Professor Crash to maybe help us nail down some of these terms and some of these sounds, okay? Professor Crash, take it away. Oh, why thank you, Hillary. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Professor Crash, no relation. We will be working today on a soundscape. So let us look at the different things that we're going to need using the handy dandy whiteboard. All right, now that we know we're doing a thunderstorm, we need to think about all the different aspects of a thunderstorm. What are the things that we see, the things we feel, the things we hear? So grab your pen and paper and let's write some of these down, okay? So the first thing we need, obviously, is thunder and lightning. Let's write that down. And then after that, we're going to need some... Maybe rain? That's a good idea. Let's get some rain in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then maybe something like, what do we see in the sky? What do you think? Mm, dark clouds? That's a good idea. Dark clouds. Maybe get some wind. Yeah, okay, okay. We've got some wind, dark clouds. We've got it. Oh, hi. Uh, what else? Maybe um, some puddles to jump in? There could be so many different ideas. I want to see some of the ideas that you kids come up with, all right? So think of some of those ideas now. And then maybe we'll come back and think of something to end it with, okay? So let's pause the video to think of all the different things that we want in our thunderstorm song, all right? Okay, hmm. Now I think to end it, we need something nice and pretty and happy, something that we know is the ending of a thunderstorm. How about a rainbow? Oh, let's do that. Okay, write down rainbow, kids. Write down rainbow. All right, I think we have everything we need to get started on writing this soundscape. So I'm gonna send it back to Rockstar Hillary so you can come up with all of the parts, all right? Back to you, Hillary. Thanks, Professor Crash. All right, kids, let's start at the beginning. How do we know that a thunderstorm is coming, right? Well, one of those first things that Professor Crash mentioned was the wind and dark clouds. So let's come up with a sound for wind and dark clouds. Hmm. I'm thinking we're gonna do something kind of swirly, right? So maybe you have an idea at home that you can come up with, but I think I'm gonna do something like this. Maybe we rub the top of my bucket here. Oh. Maybe get some soap. Oh, there we go. There we go. Are you getting this, Professor Crash? Are you writing this down? Yep, I'm writing it all down. I'll get it all down for you. Perfect, thank you. All right, next, we're gonna need rain. Now, rain is when we start really, really quiet, right? That when the storm's far away, the rain is very quiet. And then it gets louder and louder and louder. So how do you think you're going to do that on your drum set at home? I might do kind of like this, right? And then it gets louder. All right, beautiful. That's great. It gets nice and loud. I love that. Now for this next part, we're going to be doing thunder and lightning. Well, thunder, we need a big booming sound, don't we? So maybe I should use my bass drum. 
right? Maybe you should use your bass drum or the lowest sound that you have. Mm. Now for lightning, I think we should use something a little creative, don't you? Maybe for lightning, we should click our sticks or our spoons or our hands together and make kind of like a cracking sound like this. Now, when we actually have a thunderstorm, it doesn't just go lightning, then thunder. It goes lightning, thunder, lightning, thunder, back and forth, right? So let's do this. Let's do lightning, 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 thunder, 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 lightning, 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 thunder, 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 thunder. That sounds pretty good. Should we try that? All right, I want you guys to try that part at home with me. You ready? Lightning, 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 thunder, 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 yeah! Lightning, 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 thunder, 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 yep. Yes, thunder, thunder, one more time. Lightning, 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 thunder, 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 thunder. <gasps> wow, that sounded like a real thunderstorm. That was amazing. All right, now our next one was jumping in puddles. So when we jump in the puddles, once the storm's over, of course, uh, maybe we should do kind of like a hopping sound, like we can even do the action, like we're jumping. Oh, just like that. That's perfect. Try with me. Yep. Awesome. Now, before we get to the rainbow, if you guys came up with some ideas on your own, why don't you take this time right now to come up with sound effects for them? Okay, so let's pause for a little bit so that you guys can come up with your sound effects. So here we go. Pause. All right, oh, I'm excited. Let's put them all together. Now for this run through, we're gonna be using just the sounds that we have, okay? And you at home can come up with whatever ones you want. You can perform anything you want, all the sounds that you created on top of these, or you can just play with me. So the last thing we're gonna do is the rainbow. And I like to end with a nice visual like this. Just a nice, beautiful rainbow arc. Just like that, okay? So maybe when we do our hopping sound, I'll count to four like this. You ready? We'll go one, two, three, four, and then we'll do a rainbow just like that. Okay? All right. So let's go over all of the sounds so far just to make sure we have them all down. Wind. And then rain. Remember, we start quiet and get louder. Perfect. And now don't forget the lightning and thunder. Lightning, 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 thunder, 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 lightning, 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 thunder, 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 thunder. And then after that, we have the jumping in puddles. And then remember, I'm going to count to four. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Rainbow. Wow. Okay. I think it's time to play it all together. <clears throat> get ready, kids. Get ready. Here we go. Sticks in the ready position. Deep breath. Here we go. Oh my goodness. It was perfect. What an amazing thunderstorm. Now, you can take this time right now to work on your own thunderstorm or to play the one that you've already written, okay? So try that now for your family, and I bet they'll love it because that was amazing. All right, great job, everybody. Once again, here is the Crash Rhythm Junk Line.
time, it's time for our final activity. I know, I'm sad too that it's all gonna be over, but don't worry, we've saved the best for last. We're gonna take all the things that we just learned, all the new sounds that we've created, our bucket drum set, all of the new ways of hitting it and learning how to play together, we're gonna take all that, combine it together to write our own song, a very own original song. Now, because you're there and I'm here, our songs might be a little different because I can't take your ideas from you over the video. So I'm gonna write my own song and I want you to write your own song as well at home. At the end, if you want, you can just play mine with me or you can play your own with your family. But in order to use this to get this song down, I think we're gonna have to get back to the Crash Classroom and Professor Crash. All right, Professor Crash, take it away. Oh, you're back again. We are gonna be writing our very own song. So let's get that whiteboard back out to see the different types of things we're gonna use in it. For writing this song, we're gonna be using what we like to call the story method or the crash method. So the best way to do this is to break it down into the different sections of different sounds that we wanna make. So first grab your pen and your paper and let's write these down. So the first thing that we like to have is a character. So everybody right now, think of a character that you want your story to be around, okay? Now I'm gonna pick, hmm, a toad, okay? Let's write that down. So we've got our main character as a toad. Now we wanna think of where does this toad live? Now it can make sense or it doesn't have to. It can be somewhere really, really crazy. So I think that this toad lives in New York City. <laughs> silly, it's a silly, it's a toad in New York City. And then once we've got that, sometimes we can think of like a friend for the toad or we can just get right into a problem that the toad has. Now, I think that the toad's friend should be a bird, okay? Or a pigeon, because it's New York City, that makes sense. So the toad's got a best friend, the pigeon. Now, the big problem that this toad would have might be something like, well, he's a toad, he lives on the ground and his best friend's a pigeon, the pigeon lives up in the sky. So maybe his problem is, he never gets to see his friend, the pigeon, okay? So let's write that down. <sighs> now, what would the toad's solution be? How is the toad gonna find the pigeon? Well, maybe the toad climbs up a building like Spider-Man, because to toads have sticky hands, right? So maybe the toad climbs the building to see the pigeon. And then we like to end with something happy, right? So they're together, they're celebrating, and maybe the pigeon and the toad fly off together into the sunset. There you go, we did it. So we created our character, we created our location, we created a friend for the character, we don't have to do that, it's up to you, and then we created a problem and a solution and an ending, all right? So I'm gonna give you this time right now to maybe come up with your own list of things that you need for your song, okay? It can be the same as mine or it can be totally different. It can be whatever you'd like. All right, good luck. All right, now that we have everything written down, it's time to actually make the sounds and create the song, okay? So I'm gonna send it back to rock star Hillary to make the song. All right, Hillary, back to you. Oh my goodness, this is a pretty crazy song, kids. Okay, but that's how it is. The best way to write a song is to come up with a bunch of random things and try to put them together, I always find. So let's start right at the beginning of our song. So we have our main character, the toad. So let's think about a toad. What are something that toads do that we could maybe emulate through music? Emulate meaning, you know, show through the music. So, well, a toad jumps, a toad hops, right? So that would be a great idea to kind of incorporate that. So let's kind of make hopping sounds. When we think of hopping, I think of like a boing or like a ba bump, ba bump. A bump. Oh, that's a good sound. Like that. Let's try that all together. You ready? That's pretty awesome. Okay, and Professor Crash, you're going to write this all down for us, okay? Awesome, thank you. Okay, next we have New York City. So New York City, if you've ever been there or ever seen a movie or a TV show that has New York City in it, you'll know that it's really, really loud and bustling and there's people everywhere, right? So I think we need something that's going to be kind of loud and crazy. So maybe we should just kind of do this. Just make a lot of noise, right? We need like car horns and stuff like that. Now, the best friend is the pigeon. So when I think of pigeons... I think of obviously it's a bird, so they fly. 
but also they make cooing sounds. And the cooing sounds that a pigeon makes, they're very quiet, they're very calm. So let's try to make a kind of a cooing sound. Maybe we go like coo, 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 just like that. And we can actually make the sounds. Sometimes the best songs have sound effects or actions with them, right? So let's try that. We'll go coo, 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 coo. But remember, not too loud. Coo, 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 coo. Perfect. Now, the problem, right, that the toad has, the big problem is that he can't see his friend the pigeon because they're so far apart. So maybe what I like to do in situations like this is I like to show what those two worlds might be like. So we have something that's on the ground, dirty, on the ground that's a toad living in like swamps and rivers, but then up high we have the bird, which is like nice in the sky, right? So let's kind of find a way to get those two sounds and put them together. So uh, when we're thinking of dirty, muddy ground, I, like, I think of like a sludgy sound. So maybe we should use our lowest sound that we have. So for me, that's my bass drum. Something like that, yeah. And then when I think of up in the sky, that might be like a stick click or something like that. Or maybe if you have your cymbal hit or you can clap your hands if you're not using sticks, something like that. So maybe we'll do this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, just like that, perfect. And now we're solving the problem. So now the toad climbs up the side of a building to meet the pigeon on the roof so that they can get together finally, okay? So I like to use the sound of climbing or ascending or going up something like the sound of the volume of what we're playing getting louder and louder and louder. So let's start nice and quiet. And maybe we'll do little stops in between. So we'll go like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Getting louder, getting louder, getting louder, stop. Getting louder, getting louder, getting louder, getting louder stop. <gasps> wow. Let's try that together. Getting louder, getting louder, getting louder. Perfect. And then of course, when they get to the top, now they're really happy. They're finally together and they're gonna fly off. So maybe we should just do some, if you have your hands, you can do some like this, or you can do some claps, but we'll do like a. They're flying away together. Wow. That's amazing. So now that you know how we write the song, if you came up with different things, if you didn't follow the same things that Professor Crash came up with and you came up with some of your own, now this would be the opportunity to come up with your own sound effects. All right, so get ready for that pause signal. Here it is. Okay, now we're gonna put it all together. So let's take our toad story and try to remember all the different sounds. Now play along with me. So first we had the toad, which was the hopping. Perfect, just like that. Then we had New York City, which was super, super busy, like this. Awesome. Then we had the pigeon. Now the pigeon, we did the quiet cooing sound, right? Like this. Perfect. But now was the problem. The problem was getting the toad up to the pigeon, right? Because they're best friends, but they live in two different worlds. So let's do that sound where we had the down in the dirt, down in the dirt, down in the dirt, air, down in the dirt, down in the dirt, down in the dirt, air. Now we are solving the problem and we had the toad climbing up to the pigeon. Now remember, we started this one really, really, really quietly and then got louder and louder and louder and louder. So let's do it. One, two, three, four. Nice, that's perfect. Now they're together, they're so happy they're flying. They're flying up in the air together. Get those sticks or hands clapping. And then maybe as they're flying away, we should get quieter. Wow. 
That's an amazing way to end a song. Oh my goodness, kids. This is it. We're going to perform it now. Are we ready? This is a big deal. <coughs> Presenting the toad and the pigeon. <laughs> Sticks in the ready position. Deep breath. a round of applause. Oh my goodness, that was so awesome. Now, if you'd like, you could take this time right now to play the original song that you and your family wrote at home and see how that sounds. That's it, you did it, yes! You did it, you're officially rock stars, congratulations. You've done all the things that I've put in front of you and you did an amazing job doing it. I'm so impressed. But just because our video's done doesn't mean that the music is done. I want you to maybe redo some of the activities, rewrite some of the songs that we worked on in this workshop. But maybe you can come up with your own stuff. It's totally your own stuff. You can do your own jam session with your family. But don't let the music stop. Keep making music. If you want to learn more about Crash Rhythm, you can check out our website at www.crashrhythm.ca. You can follow us on Instagram, like our page on Facebook, and if you want to send some photos and videos of your family participating in the workshop, you can send them to this email right here, hillarywiskin at crashrhythm.ca. Thank you so much for participating. I'm so happy that I have some more rock stars to add to the list. Have a great day, everybody, and keep making music. Bye!